Hey guys, it's Vandy. I'm by your coffee Vanguard Deck Profile. So, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. This time we're covering DZ Set Five for Lyrica Monasterio, Lisa Feel. So, Lisa Feel as part of Equilibrium as well. I was not expecting to actually do the deck profile because when we first got the support, I was very anti-support. And to be fair, I think I was just anti everything in this set because I really didn't want to do deck profiles. And then I actually tested the support as an excuse to start the DZ Set Start bosses so I can do deck profiles for them. And then turns out I actually like Lisa Feel support a lot, and I really got to change my opinion on the other of any one so in that case let's go ahead and start shall we see what we got because honestly these cards are very good and i'm glad i got the chance to try them out first of the day we have our energy generator it's our ride deck crest you have a ride deck crest in your ride deck auto ride deck when you drive put this card to your crest line when second energy charge three continues to map to 10 energy but auto became your red phase energy charge three and then at once per turn energy bus seven to draw a card all around pretty solid every turn you get a free three energy and if you win second you get an extra three on top of that and with the deck where the main vanguard actually costs three energy to use the skill of if only zed start deck bosses did the exact same thing this card is really nice to have and not to mention the fact that if you have extra energy you can use this to get extra hand cards as well all around energy generator is a very solid card to have and it's a good ride deck card, so obviously we have it here and we have our starter in Lucent Sweet Millis. So great to boost. Five Kishos. Okay, basically auto and roto pump for second draw cards. Standard starter. None spots to free draw if you go second. You can make this any starter you want. I just to make it Millis just because Millis is the canonical starter for the Lisa Phil line. But again, you can make this any starter you want. None of the rod line really requires this. Then we have over trigger in Fantastic Fanail Katrina. Great to boost. 50 Kishos. 5k power over trigger. Or you might want to trigger any deck. Remember to accumulate the card draw card. Choose one of these. It gets for the turn. If it did during a draw check, activate its addition effect. What you get during this fight, you get during your turn. All your rear or get thousand power all around pretty solid because whether you draft checks or damage check this you're getting a free draw in a million so either someone's not getting hit that turn or someone is getting hit that turn unless your opponent has either a pg or their own over but on top of that if you drive check this your entire rear guard for the rest of the game during your turn will get plus 10k power all around the over trigger is a pretty powerful card because it just pretty much makes it so all of your rear guards are always going to be hitting for big numbers especially when you're constantly calling down columns to swing at your opponent with you can really make this any of the leader come on stereo overs because they all have this as i miss i just to make it katrina because lisa fell is a war beast and i mean this is the war beast over trigger and i love the pun fantastic for nail but of course you can also make it a spore for cycling volnet for more multi-attack though this deck doesn't really want volnet for multi-attacking uh or at least in my opinion it doesn't and then you could also run the dark over trigger for healing and calling but i used to make it katrina because again force uh not force numbers just big numbers and also the fact that it has a pun in it so one of the over trigger then we have our normal trigger we went three copies of transparent snowy knight bear toy great zero boost 5k shield 4k power can choose guard so plus vanguard to great three great five and shield okay cool 10k shield she's a draw trick so it's increase the hand and when you're constantly like i said before calling down your entire hand to the board to consistently rush down your opponent with bear toy is going to be nice to help refill the hand especially because at least on the first grade three turn there's okay i'm not gonna say there's a hand problem on first grade three turn but i always feel like there's a something missing in my hand and to be fair that's never going to change no matter how many draw cards i want if evidenced by this deck because this deck has actually has more draw cards than the other deck has and it still doesn't end up in my hand so there's that either way three of draw triggers then we have four copies of cheerful sunshine wallace great zero boost for the show 5k power you can mix in the crate you want i do choose this and make this the crate here because as in the al equilibrium deck profile that's the best we're going to get with that name uh as i said in that one the dz set start bosses had their own specific triggers and ride deck which the start of the ride deck and the triggers were confirmed to be the faded one triggers and ride deck grade zero and then because i tried to mirror it the destined ones got that too so because this was the crit for marlene it became the crit for chris Wayne, which means it became the crit for this deck okay that confusing loop out of the way four of wallace you can make some crowd should make it wallace because of again the theming and then we have four copies of precious tune edwards is there a boost fitting case 4k power critical trigger auto rear guard and the boost to show up to soul choose when you can take care for the turn okay i want a free 2k pretty nice to have it's ghost to soul this deck technically doesn't need this so if you want to play the 5k critical trigger you can just for extra boosters but i will say if certain events happen because they did happen on camera and you don't see any of your soul chargers edwidge might be a very nice saving grace edwidge wasn't necessary in the situation that i'm referring to but she was nice to have as a backup plan because she was in my hand and she made me feel confident that i could afford to do the stupid play so eight crits in total for a nice pressure and you know with the restaining vanguard that also gets a constant uh, currently, it's always nice to have for the crit pressure. Then we have four talkative hour Tom moves. Great zero boost. Make it show five power. You can make this in who you want. You to make a Tom moves because, well, again, consistency with the Wallace thing. The start deck had it as the trigger, and then the faded one has the trigger. Therefore, this deck has as the trigger. Take that as you will. You can make it in who you want. You can even make the counter hits by for the consistent fifty kishu or the fluctuating ten twenty five kishu. Take that as you will. 
Okay, I was like, slowly forget to breathe during that moment. Then we have three copies of our first grade one, Soothing Voice Jonette. I kid you not, lowering this to three copies out of four was the most like heartbreaking and struggling thing I've ever had to do. I legitimately, because it was, I put it, I lost a copy for this thing. I legitimately hard debated if it was worth keeping this at four just so I could have the extra copy of this because I really like the way her wings look so smooth and clean. And it's the same way as I look at like Alec Gorilla where it's just, you know, smooth, clean, and like it feels like you can just kind of like rub your finger across it and it feels so satisfying. I was struggling so hard to prove this down to three. Anyways, one great one boost by Kate Shield, AK base. It continues to be regarded guard circle. If you have Vanguard that's grade three or greater with less fun than the card name, she gets 5,000 power, 5k shield after my boy's turns. So, you know, you do what I do normally do with this deck. You call this card to a rear guard circle in the early game. You swing at your opponent's Vanguard with an 8k. You have an 8k booster for the rest of the game. And then once you hit grade three, she's a 13k. And if you really want to keep her in hand for 10k shield power, there you go. But typically, this deck has a lot of triggers in hand and draws a lot of its PG if not all of its pgs very quickly so you technically don't need this as a shield especially if it plays like i do but hey is what it is it's a 10k shield and it's a 13k booster or swinger so it's nice to have it a three of then we have four copies of Sway with Swings Balatia, so you actually do need this for this deck. Great on boost, 5k shield, 8k base, can use rear guard circle during battle. She boosts every Vanguard to grade 3 grade at least fill. She has a power, so she's a 13k booster, which is nice to have. And then auto and put him to rear guard when put from rear guard into soul by the ability of your Vanguard at least fill on the card name. Draw a card, and if you do not counter charge, you have to turn counter charge one. Arm pretty solid because she can boost anything in mid 13k booster. I'm gonna say this right now. We have either a 13, we have two 13k boosters, and we have one 18k booster. So no matter what, your back row, if they're getting boosted by anything that's not a trigger, are probably getting a good boost out of it. But being a 13k booster is nice. And also getting you a free draw every time it's sent to soul is great so it basically replaces itself with leo's triple drive or not leo lisa phil's triple drive so you get a total of four cards back and typically you're sending somewhere between two to four cards in soul so almost being able to reset all the value that you lost is good but also being able to counter charge one is even better because a lot of this deck takes up cb this takes up cb which makes it a little bit more consistent this takes up cb i mean it also takes up eb but i'm gonna tell you this right now because the main vanguard uses eb unless you're going second you're never going to use that ability ever on eb so you're going to use the ability on cb and i mean for this ability not this ability i know i point to this one and this costs CB and EB, depending on your situation, you will flip-flop between CB and EB, which is, I, I do like it about that skill, but we'll get to that later. And then this costs CB, sometimes you sometimes you won't. And then you need the CB for the Divine skill, which is very important. And then obviously your main grade 2 over here also costs CB. So being able to counter charge even if it's only once per turn is still pretty solid, because once you get going, you, you'll tend to like only need one CC. So for ability to very solid grade 1, she's nice to have, get your hand cards back, get your resources back, good card. Then we have four copies of Clover, Hearts, and Ninelle. So who I was really harsh about i think i don't remember what i said about the and vanity but i know like when i was going over it i was like already not in the mood to do deck profiles for this set so i i think i gave it like a negative opinion i don't remember exactly what i said but i know i at least didn't care when i talked about it so great on boost back i showed ak base i do have to say this now though after test playing her Ooh, she is good. Auto when placed on rear guard circle via any means, whether it's from deck, hand, rear guard, superior call, normal call, whatever the hell. If your vanguard's a great three guard, at least I feel counter bots won't choose a great dose, normally with a different card from this unit from your soul and without sentinel, and add it to your hand, and you may soul charge one. Okay, not a mandatory soul charge, so if you're afraid of decking out or you think you're gonna soul charge a trigger, you don't have to soul charge. But more importantly, adds any card to your hand that isn't a sentinel and is a great two or less that isn't itself. So counter charger. 13k swing or 10k shield or in the most recent game i did with this deck a card that you think will be able to defend you when you are on the verge of death and then said card chains to make the difference Four of Nilia for that reason alone, and then auto rear guard when this unit boosts anything. If your vanguard's a great two, great three, great at least a foe. Soul blast two, she gets tons of power for the battle. Okay, the soul blast is a little bit wonky if you pull it on your first grade three turn, since you do need six or more soul for the two drive skill. But once you end up getting the uh, uh, divine skill out, because after that point you do not need a specific amount in soul, you can just spam the skill at the wazoo and you'll be good to go. So four of Nilia are on very solid grade one to have. It's an eighteen. K booster for pretty much the entirety that is on board so we'll talk about it let me move on to our last grade one in the main deck four copies of best served hot warmia grade one boost zero so it's okay base continues sentinel you have four sentinels in deck on spilling guard circle uh choose one of yours it cannot be hit to the battle of your hands two more cards two card from hands guard is standard pg nuts by the base means that this is not one card in hand plus on guard circle you don't score is great because that means you can be as aggressive as you want the early game spam the ever living hell out of these two you want to keep this in hand until you get to lisa phil and then when your opponent eventually counterattacks you throw down warmia give them a middle finger and you're good to go all on very solid pg to have you can run any of the lyrical monasteros pgs that have this 
skill. They have so many of them. I'm not about to go over each and every one of them. But you can run any of them because they all have that exact same skill. I just to make it warm you because, as I said earlier, this came out close to the time of, and as I normally say, this came out close to the time of Marlene's release, the DZ set start boss for um, the Rick Monasterio. And just like the triggers, because she had it, it went to Faded 1 Chris Rain. And then because Chris Rain had it, it came over here for warm you. Again, use whatever PG you want. And we have last grade one in the deck, one of in the ride deck, none in the main deck, of Coolest Glance, Viela, grade one boost, 5k shield, AK base, honor and rotopom by Mature Lura's Lutica, count, draw a card, I don't know why I was about to say counterclass one, draw a card, choose a card from your hand or rear guard, shove it to soul, choose one vanguard, get five thousand power for the turn. Aram pretty solid because she's a free draw the second you get rotopon, so for two turns straight you get a draw, one from her, and then obviously one from a starter if it went second. And then not to mention the fact as well that you can use this ability to, or you have to use this ability to get an extra hand card, it can be from rear guard or from soul. So say for example you want to go ahead and send in one of these things to soul because because they're already kind of useless since you're probably went second and then your opponent's already at grade two and they're at 10k base and you don't want to call stuff to make those cards booster so you want to just go into some soul to get it um to replace that draw is nice as well but you can put a hand card as well if you want to already build up your board and the vanguard also gets 5,000 power meaning it's a 15k meaning unless your opponent willingly drops a 20k guard any show that they drop on the vanguard attack is a one to pass so one of in the right deck none of the main deck you don't really need in the main deck but it's a nice card for putting pressure on the opponent Following that, we have our first grade two, four cobs of Dazzle Bubble Paradise, Prisia. I really did not think Prisia would be good in this deck. I legitimately thought, considering how reliant like half of the cards are on CB and how reliant the Vanguard is on energy, that this card would not be good. But for some reason, I have never not been able to use Prisia. Like the deck has just enough to do everything it needs and keep it consistent, and I am shocked by that. Anyways, Prisia, great turn set five Kishio, 10k base, auto and put on guard circle from the hand or discard it from your hand while riding from the right deck specifically, not just discard it from the right phase. CB1 or energy box three draw card. Okay, again, depending on your situation if you go second you can afford to use this extra eb because you're going to get the extra eb anyways and since you're always going to get three eb every turn as long as you just keep the eb from the turn that you're going to ride this you'll be fine but uh essentially use this eb only if you go second otherwise cb1 always and then auto and put on rear guard circle if you persona that turn cb1 or g blast three this ability will never come in handy choose whatever units and until end of turn gets five power if you do choose a rear guard return that unit to your hand at the end of the turn okay it can give it to any use so it can give it to vanguard if you want but if you did choose a rear guard you get a bounce it back all around pretty solid Returns rear guards to hand, gives stuff good numbers. Not to mention that it can replace itself when discarded or used as guard power, which could very much help you in defensive situations, and you can combo it with this to get this back into hand if it's soul charged off of something like this or this, so you can be able to defend yourself later, but you know what is what is. For Prisia, like I said, you wouldn't think this card is good, but at least with my playstyle, where I would willingly go to higher damage, and then this deck will just bail me out by seeing somewhere between two to four heals respectively. The the fact that that actually happened that this deck literally saw four heals almost back to back with like two cards separating all of them and it did that consistently for about 10 minutes it's its own entity but for Prisia, either way very solid grade two to have with at least my play style i can use this thing properly if you are not the type to go to high damage early and then kind of just run around with that don't run this but it tends to work for me so i'm just going to keep it on four of Move on to our grade, or the grade two. Four cops are the one that you want to hit rear guard, and the thing you're going to protect with your life if your opponent tries to swing into it. Berlin's Restage Albania. So, grade two and stuff, I have Kishio, 10k base, continues rear guard, Oracle, rear vanguards are grade three, grade Lisa Phil. It gets 5,000 power, act on both players' turn. So, 15k base during both players' turn is pretty solid. And then all to rear guard once per turn, when you're grade three, grade vanguard, Lisa Phil on this card name attacks, it doesn't matter if it attacks into a grade two or a grade three. If you have no front, other front or rear guards, counter boss one to stand it, and if your opponent's vanguard's at grade three as well, this you can send those power. Arm pretty solid because that means you get four attacks regardless of what grade the opponent's at, as long as your vanguards are grade three. But on top of that, if your opponent is at grade 3, this is a total of 25k right here. Possible Persona Ride, plus from this thing and any other triggers. Around Albina is a very solid grade 2, especially because for the first battle, it's most likely going to be boosted because I will call down four rear guards and eat them all into soul within 5 seconds. So being able to get this thing to decent numbers for the first swing and for the second swing as well is all around really good and only costs 1 CB, which gets mitigated by this, especially because once you do get to this stage of the game, you're only going to be using 1 CB a turn, maybe 2, and by a turn i mean like counting both your turn and your opponent's turn so all around very solid this thing is very cheap and easily refundable my only thing is you're going to defend this with your life when she hits the board and the reason why i say that is because whenever i play this deck until two grade three turns have passed i will only see one of her throughout the entire game meaning if she dies once i automatically have to wait two turns before i get her again so i will guard her like my life depends on it because it kind of does because i need that extra rear guard so for albina very good grade two to have very nice pressure that she establishes four of
And on to our last grade two, one of them the red deck, on the main deck of Mature, Laura's Lutica, grade two and set five, K Showtime Kid Base. All of them wrote upon by a grade three card, Lisa on the card name, Counter Blast one, or Angie Blast three, draw a card, soul charge one. On pretty soft, she helps increase the hand, she helps increase the soul very easily. She pretty much guarantees that you hit the six soul count, because what? You get three from the red deck alone. This gives you another one, so four. This gives you another one, so five. Literally, this thing skill, which requires you to put two or more rear guards into soul, automatically gives you the other one. So you will always have the ability to do those, like if you just use the ride line skill. So either way, Lutica is a very solid grade two to have and the reason why i like lutica so much because she gives you the alternate cost choice like cb1 rng blast 3 like this grade 2 but more importantly because of how this deck has to play with resources with the main grade 3 taking up energy consistently your best defensive card taking up energy consistently and cb and a lot of your deck relying on cb as well it's nice where there are situations where you have to fluctuate the cost like sometimes use cb sometimes use eb i know there are some decks where i run like the other variants of this where i will only exclusively use the eb because nothing else use nothing else in that deck uses energy or maybe i will only use a cb because nothing else in that deck uses cb so i really like the fact that this deck alternately switches and it switches every game so every game actually feels really different from the last one all around I do like to take it a lot i think she's a very great great two so one up in the red and on the main deck then we went to our grade three four copies of trying to be present mp i really thought i was gonna have to check down this card and apparently i didn't have to because i was able to run both all grade threes at four believe this or not even though i run all four grade threes at max copy all three grade threes at max copy at which is at four i somehow do not see all of them and i will somehow end up with more triggers and pgs in hand than i will see all of them here let me just paint a picture i have consistently drawn all four copies of this into my hand and have them all in my hand at one point then i've had consistently more than three grade threes in hand counting all three of these together I'm not kidding. I'm being like genuinely serious. So just take that in mind when I'm saying I can afford to do this and not have any repercussions. Anyways, four of Charmy Present Amphi. Grade three turned up for Sorry, 13k base. On will place on rear guard, circle of vanguards are grade three, grade Lisa Phil. CB1, draw a card, and this is the power for the turn. On run pretty solid you know it's a simple cb to make it an 18k and a draw you have better boosters in fact this thing is the exact same thing except doesn't get you a draw and doesn't cost cb but if you have extra cb laying around which sometimes you do sometimes you don't there you go it's a free hand cards of 5k and then auto put into soul from the put into soul from rear guard by the ability of a great three guard release on the card name true the vanguard's gonna have this power for the turn okay release of focus 5k for every card sent to soul so automatically she's an 18k alone and this gives another 5k so no matter what this thing will actually she sends two to soul at the least so she will always be 23 this makes it 28 at the very least and sometimes if you have two or three this will get even more our own amphi is a very solid grade three she gives the vanguard much more numbers every time she's sent to soul and also much the fact that if you have cb for when she's placed you can increase your hand as well and give her more numbers and possibly make a lot from combat situations where you have no hand cards you call her you counter boss you draw you gain 5k you call another copy and you keep doing it that is a real life scenario that has not happened with this deck but has happened with alt mile brave in the past or right? maybe not been alt mile brave but it was some alt mile deck that did something very similar with it and i bs my way to make a full board from nothing i am not kidding and i pissed off my friend doing it so four of amphi very solid grade three I mean, four copies of competent director Selpina. Grade 3, Tundra Persona, 13k base. I really love her pigtails over here. I'm pretty sure these are pigtails. Uh, continues rear guard. If your vanguards are grade 3, you're Lisa Phil. She gets 5,000 power after both players' turns. So, you know, 18k base during both players' turns. Very solid. Makes it a little bit harder for your opponent to hit her, especially because they're pretty much going to have to boost it over her. And then, all when she's put on rear from rear guard into the soul by the ability of a grade 3, you're Lisa from the card name. If your opponent's vanguards are grade 3, you're your entire farm gets 5,000 power for the turn. Downside, she only works, this ability this only works when your opponent's at grade 3. Upside, the entire front row gets 5k so you know this whatever it's actually getting with its skill gets 5k this which is most likely staying gets 5k and if you have to swing with the vanguard first and just eat your entire back row into soul because this is no longer an option your entire front row is going to have at least 5k that has happened once and i've had to do it and it won't be the game so take that as you will either way simpla has a simplina is a very solid grade three to have her ability does stack like amphi so if you have multiple on board ahem ahem you have three in the back row and one in the front row that has it hasn't happened yet but it will happen one day i will find a way your entire farm gets plus 20 plus a persona ride plus 30 just saying very good grade three has literally no cost to it whatsoever easy four of and then we have our last grade three in the deck three of the main deck one of in the right deck of destined one of supremacy lissa so the destined one outside of leo that i honestly thought i was gonna hate the most because i didn't like how she looked and then we all know how leo turned out because i'm pretty sure leo's going up first and then this one she slowly grew on me i will say that her support made me made this deck grow on me also the way this deck plays like i said having to like swap between costs consistently so this deck never feels like it's playing the same match over and over again anyways auto vanguard once per turn when this unit attacks while not being boosted specifically 
Do not call something behind her to boost. I now realize that earlier yesterday when I was doing the testing match for this, I think it was against Christonios, I was a, I either called something behind her or I was about to, and I was about to boost with her knowing that I was going to go to Soul. I'm glad I didn't, or at least I know I didn't boost because otherwise that skill would not have been able to be used. But Energy Blast 3 shove two or more rear guards to Soul. She gets plus one drive for the turn. Then she gets 5,000 power turn to her each card put into Soul for its cost. So she's getting at least 10k. She's at least a 23k with triple drive, which is pretty solid for only 3 EB. Following that, she has a Divine Skill. Although Vanguard, I think about that she attacked into a Grade 3 or Grade unit. Doesn't matter if it's a Vanguard or a Rearguard. Good luck. Any Bastion deck that's a Pure calls a Grade 3 off the top if you're still running the Fort Rooks ride line. If you're still at 6 or more cards in it, CV1 stand this unit and you lose 2 drives for the turn. To end this fight, you get all your Vanguards with least Fun the Cardings, get 5,000 power and plus 1 critical. Active on both those turns. All around, pretty solid. Just for a simple CB, for the rest of the game, she is an 18k double critical body, not to mention the fact that she is a minus two drive. Or, well, not for the game, just for the turn. But, you know, an extra attack with double critical, and if you pull a crit in your triple drive, she's going to have more pressure, and for the rest of the game, she will always be a triple drive, double crit, whatever numbers she got off of this. So, all around, Lisa Phil is a very solid great three. She hits good numbers. She has so many support cards and more, like more than just these ones, that act when they go to soul and pretty much the ride line always guarantees this ability would go off like like i said earlier the starter the actual ride line itself so three this gets you one so four this gets you one so five and then this will get you two more at the very least so seven so automatically on your first grade three turn you have an extra soul to leeway with to do the skill with and not to mention and that's assuming you do the bare minimum like there was a game where i just used this on my first grade three turn so i went down to five soul or i went down to three soul actually but then because i was going to send my entire board except for albina to rear guard and i had one open rear guard circle so i had three rear guards i could send exactly Exactly three to soul, have exactly six soul, and then still be able to stand the vanguard. All right, Lisaville, very solid grade three. With all the soul charging she does, she works really well with the support she has. She gets extra drive. She gets really good numbers consistently, and as long as you have hand cards, you keep pressuring your opponent. And not to mention the fact that, like, for the entirety of the fight, once her divine skill goes off, she will always have crit pressure on her, and at least be very good defensively because she'll be an 18k base, meaning there's a 5k difference in guarding, which could honestly be the difference between winning and losing. So three of Lisaville in the main deck, one in the ride deck. As much as she's still not my favorite of the De Destiny ones and she's still my least favorite of the Destined ones. She is not my least favorite anymore because I just simply don't like her. She's just my least favorite because I like everyone else more because I do like her now. So take that as you will. Without further ado, that's it for this deck. I hope all of you enjoyed. Honestly, again, this deck is fun to play. I did not think this deck would be fun to play at all, but the fact that there's like an alternate cost that you always have to consider between CB and EB, especially when going up until grade three and having to constantly swap between them makes this deck feel really fun. And like I kept saying earlier, it makes the deck feel unique in every game to where nothing is going to be the same, or at least building up to grade three turn and even past grade three turn. You have to balance between these two, which is going to be really fun to do with. So either way, I just here. I hope all of you enjoyed. If you want to go ahead and test this deck out for yourself, go ahead. Like I said, it's fun to do. So so I'll see you last one. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, don't touch, and I'll see you all in the next one. Don't forget to up your vanguards.